An Iowa man who says he grew marijuana to treat his cancer has been found guilty of drug charges. The jury returned the verdict this afternoon for 48-year-old Benton McKenzie in Scott County District Court. My colleague Scott Sanborn reports from Davenport. In a case that has garnered national attention and a lot of focus in the medical marijuana community, a Scott County man and his family face jail time for growing what they say was medicine to treat cancer. He was given just two years to live, three tops when diagnosed with angiosarcoma, an aggressive cancer of the blood vessels that does not respond well to chemo. Mackenzie had been using cannabis to treat his symptoms, which include lesions on his skin. I treat myself with cannabis. The more healthy I become and the more resilient I am to most things. Treating it with the oil, it went away. For four years, he would treat them. Mackenzie says to avoid costly trips to other states to obtain cannabis oil, he grew his own CBD strain of marijuana and managed to keep his cancer at stage one. It changed his mother's mind. I was dead set against it. I believed all the, the hype and the stuff about marijuana being so bad. And then he showed me what it was doing. But in 2010, police raided McKenzie's home. They banged on the door. Seized 70 plants and threw him, his wife, and son in jail. It infuriates me more than just going through this alone. Watching my family go through this, in my opinion, is worse than going through the cancer. With marijuana, McKenzie's symptoms stabilized, but within 40 days without, his cancer quickly progressed to stage four. During the family's trial, they faced charges of manufacturing a controlled substance and were prohibited from using a medical marijuana defense. Wait a minute. They arrested you for this. Yes. But since they released you from jail, they've been allowing you to travel to other states to get cannabis oil. Yes. To treat it. Yes. But you can't enter that into evidence. Yes. We, the jury, find the defendant, Benton B. McKenzie, guilty of manufacture of a controlled substance under count one. The jury today convicted both Benton and Loretta McKenzie and found their son guilty of possession. And despite having two other drug felonies on his record, McKenzie is angry with the system. I'm deeply concerned. Uh, my whole family is, is in this position just for not deserting me while I'm dying. And this is how they're repaid for their compassion. Sentencing for all three members of the McKenzie family is scheduled for August 28th. Reporting from Scott County, Scott Sanborn, CBS 2 News.